Yo, what is up guys, Boltrix here, back with a brand new video, and today guys, we're going to be playing some My Pit Boost Only, so let's hop right in today's video, so of course, there's a little bit of a twist to today's video, we're going to be randomizing against pro players, okay, so we're going to have really, really bad strategies probably, and we're going to be hoping that we can still win with them, okay, we're in My Pit, like I said, which is currently the highest arena, so definitely, we're going to have quite the competition, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you click that subscribe button right now, I guarantee you will not regret and also while you're at it drop a like on this video let's try to hit 800 likes on today's video i think we can do it if everybody participates okay so we got the map ink plot which definitely is wow okay uh i'm kind of down in a way no just kidding okay and then no that's way too risky boys okay we got yellow brick road by the way pedro hfm is our opponent uh he looks all right he looks all right okay not too good no offense okay not trying to be toxic or anything i'm just saying all right so let's randomize wow okay so this strategy is a little bit worse but it's it's fine okay it's fine we got the glue which is obviously a very very good tower i'm kidding all right but we're definitely gonna be starting off with the tax shooter okay we are lacking camera detection a little bit okay just a little bit we have to get up a heli for our camera detection that's for freaking sure boys so we do not want to be anti-stalling okay i'm gonna be explaining this in a little bit uh but pretty much you do not want to be popping the balloons right as they come at the map or else the round's gonna be shorter okay and of course we are ecoing okay so we just have to have the rounds be as long as possible okay because we want as much money coming in as possible and eco comes in every six seconds therefore you want longer rounds okay it's simple 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 so let's go for this two three because of course it looks like pedro is also ecoing which is not common okay this is a far map i'm telling you guys most people farm so it is kind of weird to see a fellow eco user but i'm also proud at the same time so congratulations predro you are indeed a legend so it is now round four so of course we're going to be continuing on with the eco with the blues my game plan coming into this um i just probably have to kill this guy sometime during the mid game rounds okay that's all i'm thinking about right now i just gotta give him one like a sneaky rush or something it's kind of funny okay so my computer crashed as i was recording the last video or like not the last video but i was attempting this video and it crashed which is super super unfortunate because i was playing and i randomized into heli ice village which is a very very good strategy okay to say the least and i got the win too i literally got the win and i go to look at my computer and boom dude it's freaking gone i was like no it was so unfortunate but it's fine okay so this guy is sending us space pinks which is definitely not smart do not and i mean do not be aggressive if you're equaling okay don't send him space deco don't send your opponent space deco it's not smart in any way shape or form because if you're sending space deco then you're not actually getting up as much eco as you probably could have if you were sending group deco okay i hope that makes sense it should definitely make sense but it looks like he's going to continue on with the space deco he just does not care which is fine okay we definitely have a higher amount of eco compared to his so i'm fine with that i did not mean to set my tax shooter right there that is a terrible spot but it's fine okay i think if we have the two zero uh we should be pretty good and yeah like i said we definitely have a higher amount of eco than him and he's still ecoing yeah this is not looking good for him he's not gonna have enough money to defend round 13 i guarantee that right now and if he continues on with the yellows 100 percent yeah he 100 percent will not have enough money to defend round 13 i can guarantee that right freaking now boys so what we're gonna do is we're gonna sell all of our towers on round 13 we're gonna rush him i don't care if he has a boost or not and we're gonna hope for the best i hope and pray to god that he does not have the tax shooter because that's gonna be a super super easy to defend if he does uh but other than that we should be pretty good okay so what we're gonna do is probably build up a heli because we definitely do need camera detection and also we need lead popping power okay so i might as well just do that right now so what i'm gonna do is sell one of these tax shooters uh to build this up of course let's just have that and we also want it on follow touch okay do not and i mean do not have it on pursuit it's not good okay it's not good on pursuit at all okay so what we're gonna do like i said we're gonna sell our towers on route there oh my god why 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 okay so hopefully we're able to defend against this it looks like um this is gonna hurt a little bit that's fine though all right so yeah <laughs> he's being so aggressive he literally has no money okay so i'm just gonna get this ready of course um and yeah okay he's dead 100 percent. he's dead uh, I don't care if he boosts. There's just literally no way he's going to be able to defend against all of those rainbows. And Pedro is going to go down to the regen rainbow rush. GG, my friend. I will catch y'all in the next one. So we're back with our next opponent. I win those. So this is the guy that I was talking about that I went against on Water Hazard with Heli Ice Village. 
and I I won okay I won so hopefully uh, we can just get a win once again he definitely is a pretty good player of course as you guys can see his rankings are pretty good as well 440 on the global leaderboards okay so that is definitely respectable we got the map water hazard again what if we got heli ice village again that would be insane okay we didn't this is a crappy strategy by the way so definitely skipping that map uh, and let's hope there's something a little bit better okay swamp please 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 okay I can I can take this okay I'm fine with this because we got the boomer okay but of course with the boomer it lacks chemical detection unless you have the glaive lord or with the bionic boomer ability um, but we have the mortar, okay? So we can get up the signal flare on that, and then we'll have camera detection. Or we can have camera detection on our boat. So we have a lot of different options uh, for this. So of course, we're gonna be starting off with um, this boomer, okay? So let's start off with that. Kind of sucks, because we have to kind of anti-stall, like I said, but he's already anti-stalling, okay? So if you guys don't know, it only takes one person to anti-stall, okay? So if your opponent is anti-stalling, the rounds are just gonna be quicker, so there's really nothing we can do about it, okay? Because he said his tax shooter right at the beginning of the map, okay? So that's really unfortunate, but it's fine, okay? So, of course, what we're gonna be focusing on is just Ecoing, okay? Ecoing straight up with reds. Uh, looks like he's going to be ecoing as well. Dude, we have a lot of eco users today, okay? I'm honestly impressed. This game, though, should go a little bit late game, okay? I think it should. So what we're going to do is get up this Bionic Boomer once we can. He's sending us quite a bit of reds, okay? There's a lot of reds on the map, actually. So uh, we're going to stop ecoing for a second so we can get up this Bionic Boomer. Um, and, oh my god, we're still going to leak lives, though. God, this is so many balloons on the map, dude. Holy crap. Okay, so yeah. Let's upgrade this as soon as we can. So that's the crappy thing with starting off with a boomer. It does kind of take quite a bit of money to upgrade to that 2-3, which is what you want, okay? You need the 2-3 or else you're going to be leaking a lot of lives, all right? So we didn't leak too many. It's just that we were chasing, okay? So I just had to stop equaling. There's really nothing I can do about it. So that kind of sucks. Maybe you should have started off with the mortar, okay? Mortar would have been a good option for us. It's just that he would probably send us space pinks. Which, though, is kind of what we want because he is equaling, therefore, just would not be efficiently equaling for him. Um, so, I don't know, okay? I think we're still playing pretty good, okay? Pretty good. Our eco is just not as high as I would want it to be, okay? Uh, but we can start ecoing or continue eco, I mean, on round 8 and 9, possibly, because we do have the boomer. Uh, what we want to do as well is set this to last, okay? And the reason why I'm sending it to last is because of space regen whites. We might want to change that to close, though, because it's pretty good on close as well. I doubt that this guy will send us space regen whites, but you never know, okay? You definitely never know. Um, so we're going to eco until, like, hopefully somewhere around 500. He's also continued to eco, so his eco is definitely higher than ours, okay? Straight up it is. Uh, so, like I said, like, that kind of sucks. Uh, but we're definitely going to get to at least over 500, okay? So let's eco this last bit right here. 512, okay? 512 is a pretty good amount. I'm happy with that. We're going to chill for now, okay? So what we're going to do, of course, is send him a lead. He's probably going to have the mortar, okay? Or the wizard. I don't know, okay? So he's definitely going to have to be able to pop those leads, though. So let's see what he does. Uh, yeah, okay. So, yeah, I was right. The mortar is there. Nicely done. We're also going to have to get up a mortar, of course, for the camera detection, uh, so I will do that actually right now. So there we go with our mortar. Of course, we need the 03 at least. So let's go. There we go. We got the signal flare, of course. And we have that right there. Oh my god. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. So let's get this back on the first, I guess, because we just leaked quite a bit of lives right there. Let's get up the bigger blast as well. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> He's just rushing me with camo pinks, dude. Like, what? Okay, so he's wasting literally so much money. I'm going to space deco. I'm going to play this a little bit smarter than him. He's just wasting a lot of his money, but I cannot rush him. I literally can't. I could send him some, like, regen leads, though, this next round, because he just has a 0-0 mortar right now. So, yeah, I'm going to actually do that. I'm going to send him quite a bit of regen leads really quickly, and then just, like, space pinks over top. Uh, just to scare him, okay? Just to literally scare him. I'm just trying to get up my eco, of course. And there's the boost. Easy, easy boost. Oh my god, is he dead? Holy crap. He just needed to upgrade his mortar. Yeah, he's 100% dead, dude. What is going on? Literally, you cannot pop leads with the maelstrom, dude. What? Down to nine, zero. Okay, these are easy wins, boys. Let's go, okay? He just did not upgrade his mortar whatsoever. Therefore, just was not able to handle all of those regen leads. G, freaking G, my friend. I will catch y'all in another game. So we are back with our next opponent, the Shark Jaw. We played three games and have been having unfortunate luck. I'm not happy about it, but we're just gonna be hoping for the best this time around, boys. Good positive vibes, okay? My hand kind of hurts from punching something. I'm just kidding, okay? I'm, I'm literally joking. So let's, oh, okay. He immediately skipped that. 
570,000. Oh, God. Inkblot, dude. If we win, we're gods, okay? Just saying right now. We got the sub, village, and boomer, which we could actually make this work out, okay? But I usually don't go eco on this map, so that's just uh, the thing that I'm worried about. But it's fine, okay? It's it's fine. So we don't want to be anti-stalling too hard, so I'm going to place this, like, towards the back, kind of. It's, like, really not placed towards the back, but... You, you guys know what I mean, okay? <laughs> so it looks like the Shark Jaw is going to be starting off with the farm. And he's going to mess a thumbs up with starting off with that sub. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's see if he sends us reds, okay? He could most definitely. Uh, he's going to be starting off with the boat, which, yeah, definitely common start for this map. My go-to strategy, personally, is Boat Boomer. He's probably going Boat Boomer, okay? Boat Boomer is like the goaded strategy for this map. I'm telling you guys right freaking now. Oh my god, is he really sending me reds? What the? Okay, all right, cool. He's just getting those easy leaks off of us. That's fine, though. I'm getting the easy leaks off of you, too. Holy crap, you're down to freaking 82. What are you doing, Shark Jaw? What are you doing, man? Okay, and he's already chasing, too. So with these blues laid over top, he's 100% going to have to upgrade. And yeah, he already did. Okay, cool. So his farms are not good. His farms aren't good whatsoever right now. Let's continue on with our blues over top. He's going to have to upgrade to a second grave shot most definitely. I don't think a single faster shooting boat is going to be able to handle it. It looks like it is, though, for the most part. So I guess I'm wrong. That's fine. Okay, we're chilling. We're chilling. We're going to watch out for round six greens. I feel like he's going to be aggressive since he was already aggressive with the reds. Uh, so just got to watch out for those. Maybe it layered in with his AI. The Blues might get a couple of leaks off of him. I'm not too sure. It looks like he really wants to go for that plantation. He just did, okay? So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be boosting greens at him, okay? Um, although he's going to... Never mind, never mind. We're not going to be doing that, okay? Um, I thought the round was going to end a lot sooner than it did. So that kind of sucks. He's down to 69 lives, though. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, but yeah, if we did boost greens, we probably could could have got a couple of leaks off of him. Uh, but it's all good it's all good so 439 eco pretty good i'm probably just gonna stop like around 450 yeah 457 okay i'm gonna show now uh because we gotta make sure that we can defend against round eight yellows he could easily rush us so that's what i'm a little bit scared about okay so our defenses are going to be consisting of a three zero sub because we need that camera detection and then a boomer okay so we have that turbo charge uh, so we're able to defend against any mid-game rush. So what we're going to do here is either upgrade to a boomer or something, dude. So, uh, yeah, let's just get up this boomer. Oh, God. 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 Please. Oh, my God. Okay. Jeez. Holy crap. I could not upgrade that. I did not have the money. Oh, my Lord. Okay. So I guess that's fine. He's being so aggressive right there. Holy crap. Okay. So what we got to do is get up this um three zero right now i'm going to put it on some merge of course so we have that camera detection might as well just get it now okay you know what i mean might as well just get that out the way so we do not have to worry about it oh my god let's send him a lead dude oh my god what the heck is he doing okay we're gonna be able to defend against that what is he doing what is he doing did you just straight up leak leads He just boosted that? Did he just die? What is going on? He's dead! Oh my god, let's go! <laughs> I don't even care, dude! I'm so freaking over this video, man. I've been trying to record this too long, dude. So that's gonna be a GG. We just randomized in my pit against pretty good players, okay? Pretty good players. You know, not the next Mark Rush or anything, but still. Pretty good players. I'm happy with this video. Make sure to drop a like if you guys did enjoy it. Also, while you're at it, make sure to click that subscribe button. So the last question I asked you guys in the last video was, what was the best upgrade uh, for the modded wizard? And the answer is 3-2, the 3-2. So this guy won. Congratulations, man. Yeah, just seemed to be the best. Um, although a lot of people did not seem to watch that video or like it. So every time I try to do like a hack tower video, um, I don't know. It just does not do well on my channel. So I don't know if I want to continue with those or not uh, because the interest for them doesn't seem very high. Okay. So I want to show you guys and provide you guys with content that you want to watch, of course. So uh, just a little bit of a sad note, I guess. I don't really know. Congratulations, man, on your shout out. So the next question I'm going to be asking you guys is, all right, I've done this question in the past. I am thinking of a number between one through 10. Okay. One through 10. I have it in my head right now. So make sure you leave your answers down below in the comment section of what number you think I'm thinking of. And I will remember, okay, I promise. So leave your answers down below in the comment section. Like I said, you may have the chance to win a shout out in the next video, which is obviously dope. I hope you boys did enjoy. Once again, it's been your World Matrix or Justin. Peace out, everybody.